loose lips sink ships hello and welcome back to small soldier first off i'd like to thank jim starkweather at kitmaker network for graciously supplying this kit for me to review the scharnhorst was a german capital ship alternately called a battleship or battle cruiser she was the lead ship of her class which also included the Gneisenau. Built at the Kriegsmarine Wharf Dockyard in Williamshaven, she was laid down the 15th of June 1935, then launched on the 30th of October 1936. She was armed with a main battery of nine 11-inch C-34 guns in three triple turrets. During her first operation, Scharnhorst sank the auxiliary cruiser HMS Rollo Apindi and also participated in the German invasion of Norway. During this operation, she engaged the battle cruiser HMS Renown and sank the carrier HMS Glorious, as well as escort destroyers Acasta and Ardent. In this engagement, she achieved one of the longest range naval gunfire hits in history. In early 1943, she joined the battleship Tirpitz in Norway to intercept Allied convoys. Scharnhorst and several destroyers sortied from Norway to attack a convoy, but British naval patrols intercepted it. During the Battle of North Cape in 1943, the Royal Navy HMS Duke of York and her escorts sank Scharnhorst. Only 36 men survived, a crew of 1,968. All right, let's take a look at the box. So the reference number for this kit is FH1148, and it's a 1,700 scale kit. And it's a German battleship Scharnhorst, as she was in 1943. It's a full hull kit, and again by Flyhawk. It does include some photo etch. Just a small sheet. And that being out of the way, that's pretty much the outside of the box. First off, you get a nice artist rendition of front of the box art. And then on the back, there's a little bit of information on the history of the ship and some of the characteristics of the ship as well. Make sure you stick around to the end of this review and I'll have a photographic slideshow of all the screws and instructions. Next we have the instruction sheet and it's a long fold out type. It's got a layout of all the sprues and there's 10 steps to complete the model. I was wrong, there's, a, there's another section of instructions here. Sorry, there's 16 instruction steps and color callouts for the ships, boats, etc. And then on the back, we have the color callouts for the ship itself. You get some masks in the box to mask off the red and the white on the front, the bow, and the stern. And then there's swastika decals uh, that are in parts that you have to put together. These are the Arado 196s. And you get two of those in the box. And there's the color callouts for the uh, aircraft and deco placement. The hull is wrapped in a separate sort of foam material here. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven poly bags of sprues, which consists of 650 plastic parts on 37 frets. And then we have two small P frets and some masking material for the ship itself. And there's a correction here as well inside the box and the decals. And then we have a couple pieces of metal here that are, are to weigh the ship down if you were to do the waterline version. All right, so this is the total contents of the box. We have 650 plastic parts on 37 frets. 14 bigger parts that are just loose parts, two small PE sheets with 14 parts, a decal sheet, metal plates and masking sheet, two instruction sheets, and one information sheet. All right, let's take a look at each sprue individually. 
I'll do a photographic show at the end of some close-ups. Okay, let's first take a look at the hull pieces. And there's four here. One consisting of the waterline. If you were wanting to build the waterline version, take a quick look here at the pieces. And we have some really nice raised surface details. And we also have the planking on the ship, which is all nicely detailed. And then we have molded on chain, which at this scale I probably would leave. I wouldn't bother changing it out because that looks pretty good, to be honest. And then we have the side of the hull, and there's all the portholes. And there's some raised and recessed panel line detail on that. And then we have the lower hull. Nice ribbing on the inside here to keep things aligned and sturdy. And next we'll take a look at, looks like a funnel part. And that's a slide molded piece. That's really well done. That's a nice raised detail on that. And next we have part of the superstructure. Some very nice detailing on that as well. And there is a photo etch and metal barrel set for this kit too. Not sure if that's something I'm going to get or not because to be honest uh, this looks pretty good. You can see the planking there again. Looks like we have duplicates of this sprue here. You can see the fine detail on some of these guns. And then we also have duplicates of D12. Those would be reels, I think. And then I want to show you this, how they've molded the little ships. There's two sprues here of these. But they molded them so that you don't see, when you cut them off the sprue, they'll be less noticeable from the bottom than putting them off the side. A really quite ingenious way of engineering these little boats. And you can see the detail in there is Quite superb as well and this looks like some secondary armament you'll have to drill those barrels out decent looking turrets there and looks like the anchors some more secondary armament life rafts and there's two of those sprues as well and then we have a duplicate of this sprue I think these are the main turrets and actually they have pre-drilled the ends on these which is very nice saves a little bit of time having to do that and here we have the propellers some masting some water brakes and here's some parts of leave parts of the tops maybe of the superstructure some radar equipment maybe and more superstructure areas here. Let's raise detailing. And we have sort of a checkerboard grate kind of patterned here, a non-slip zone, I suppose, is what that is. And the tops of the funnels, which is nice. They have the grating on top, or funnel. I guess this ship only has one funnel. Quite nice, quite nice. There's some more superstructure parts. I won't show them all, but I think you've got a pretty good idea of the quality so far. Here it looks like the Arados. Doesn't look like you get any clear parts, unfortunately, with this kit. Some speed boats. And here's some really tiny little lifeboats. A little bit more of the secondary armament. Machine guns or anti-aircraft guns of some kind. And here's the two frets of P. And our sheet of decals. These are the swastikas where you have to put them together. So it looks like you get decals for the aircraft, some ship flags, and then finally we have our masking sheet which will mask off the front areas for painting on the decks. Oh, and one more thing. There's a correction here saying it's not O1, it's Q1. And that pretty much shows you all the parts in the kit. Next, we'll go to the slideshow and we'll check out some closer photos of these parts.
So that'll pretty much do it for this inbox review. I'd like to thank you once again for sticking with me and watching to the end. If you're one of the watch to the end group, please say in the comments down below, I watch to the end. And as always, please consider subscribing, hit the bell notification below, give me a thumbs up, and share this video with someone in this great modeling community of ours. Until next time guys, take care, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye now.